Smoke from a growing wildfire nearby San Bernardino County is affecting air quality in the region, including parts of the valley. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco continues our team coverage now, and she reports on how certain groups of people may be especially sensitive to health risks. This is a story new at 6, and Jen, we can see all that smoke behind you. Since the line fire sparked, residents here in Desert Hot Springs have been dealing with hazy and smoky conditions. West of the Desert Hot Springs Senior Center, a dark cloud lingers. As crews work around the clock to contain the line fire, winds are carrying yeah. smoke particles in all directions. It can quickly change air quality depending on where you live. When I came out of house this morning, you could uh, smell that you know there is a fire, and I had smelt it for, before with uh, previous fires. Robert Shawali is making sure he spends as much time indoors as he can. He knows the effects wildfire smoke can have on our health. It's hard on the uh, sinuses, and it's hard on the throat, and of course the main thing is is to stay out of it as best you can. For residents who live closer to where the fire is burning, like in Ukaipa, schools closed Monday because of the poor air quality. Yeah, I don't think we can practice this week because of the air quality, so they were talking about moving it down to by Mesa View so we can, you know, get some practice in. Dr. Vincent yeah, Deblin says everyone. these conditions can we impact everyone, but some people are more at risk. Populations. Like those patients with COPD and asthma, as well as the elderly being affected. Now, when talking about what steps people can take to try to mitigate some of those impacts and protect themselves, you know, what do you recommend? If you have to go outside, uh, wear a mask, uh, a N95 or KN95, you know, should help at least somewhat. Um, I would also recommend limiting time outside. If you do have a chronic respiratory disease, make sure your prescription, like an inhaler, is up to date and you use it when air quality drops. Also, consider using an air filter inside your home to minimize smoke particles, especially where you sleep or spend the most time. The South Coast Air Quality District has a map on its website that tracks air quality in your neighborhood. You can find more information on that online at KESQ.com. Reporting at Desert Hot Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.